can't put that five on top. How would you like me to put this five on your bottom? I was only trying to help. Well, look, Roger, why don't you dribble that ball on the kitchen and get yourself some breakfast? All right. to help you stay awake, you old fish-eyed fool. Well, that certainly was sweet of you, Esther, just to deliver such a lovely message. Oh, really? Yeah, it reminds me of something from Western Union. An ugly gram. <laughs> Step back, please. I got coming. I'm coming when you step outside. Run on. How do you do? I'm Walter Grayson from the official Book of World Records. Is this a Sanford residence? Yes, it is. I'm Fred G. Sanford, and the G is for grab yourself a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but I have a terribly pressing schedule. You mean schedule? We say schedule. Now, I've been informed that you're attempting to break one of our records. That is correct. Which one are you after? Most debris in one room? <laughs> Oh, how about that, Esther? You in the book already. <laughs> Why don't you try it for the lollipop record? All day sucker. <laughs> I soon, I soon be in your book for staying up longer than anybody else. Well, we'll see. 48 more hours is a long time when you haven't slept for a week. I'll wager your eyelids are feeling very heavy. Oh, Lord, oh, Mr. Fred, you all right? That's, yeah, I'm all right. Take your hands off me. I ain't had my tetanus shot yet. <laughs> I suppose you're one of the witnesses. Yes, I'm Miss Esther Anderson. Better known as Dog Face Afternoon. <laughs> Never mind her. You got your pencil warmed up? Come on over here and let me tell you a little bit about myself. You may not believe it, but like most celebrities, I came from an humble beginning. My family had the only log cabin in St. Louis. <laughs> and I suppose your schedule called for you to walk five miles to school every day. You mean shul, don't you? <laughs> Mr. Sanford. Listen, I walked five miles to shul and then swam five miles. Really, Mr. Sanford? I remember it so well. At the time, I was sharing a bed with my youngest brother, Jerome. Then I realized that I could stay up night and day. You mean even as a child, you were an insomniac? No, Jerome was a bedwetter. Well, I'll get all this down when and if it counts. I just stopped by to make certain everything was in order. Let me remind you that I could stop by again at any time. Oh, I can assure you, sir, that Mr. Bexley and I will see to it that Mr. Sanford keeps the rooms. Mr. Bexley? Oh, I almost forgot to introduce you to my friend here, the genius that masterminded my climb to the top. Hey, Bubba, wake up. Come on here, come on here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.